good morning. It is morning, actually. A nice and foggy morning here in Ocala, Florida. We're going over to that mill in Palatka, picking up a load. And actually, now that the sun's coming up, it's a lot easier to see. Earlier, it was too dark. This is Indiana Jack, and you're watching Adventures in Trucking. Well, we're here at the mill. It's just as cloudy and damp here as it was back there. And it's cool enough so that it's not, my air conditioning isn't working so good. Ah, look at that, we have a friendly Fred there waiting for his master. Hey, buddy. Everybody tells me I should get a dog, but I might toy in with the idea. Well, we gotta get out there and sweep the trailer. Does it look like it's ready? Yes. Okay, cool. That's uh, an old foggy mill here. Well, we just dropped off our empty and so we're bobtailing over to pick up our trailer which is at the front of the plant we were in the back of the plant so back through the foggy mill we go well this is my trailer I drove right up to it I don't know if I'm too fat to fit in there or not. To wind her down. Let's get hooked up to her and uh, I'll see if I can fit in there. Otherwise, I'm going to have to drag the trailer out. All right. Back and in here. Let's see how she goes. And listen to the click. We got the click. Now we do the tug test. We're connected, definitely. Now we gotta go do the landing gear, if we can fit through there. Well, I can fit in here, but I'm not gonna be able to wind it down, so we're gonna have to drag it out. She's nice and light, so it's not gonna be uh, a problem. This doesn't have anything to do with being fat, it's just too, too skinny of a space. All right, well, we're dragging her out. Now we should be able to dolly down. Well, we left some skid marks. See, now I can fit through. Huh, this one's sealed. Usually they're not sealed at this mill. Huh. All right, we're loaded, rolling. And out of this old foggy mill here. And we only have about 300 miles to do today. And that's, I only have that many hours, I can't do any more than that anyway. So, I'm out of hours after today.
People get so hostile because I like to stop and uh, get coffee rather than have a coffee maker. You don't have to get that upset with me because I I like to stop and get coffee. The reason I don't get a coffee maker, I've tried it in the past. It always fries all my uh, nine volt chargers and stuff. And plus I like to stop every few hours to exercise and to move my legs. So I like buying coffee. I don't want the hassle of having it roll around in my truck and spill and all that headache. So, those of you that don't like that, I'm sorry. Well, we have arrived. And they have no empties, so... So we're just going to be dropping this off and bobtailing out. Then we don't have anything else to do. Well, this trailer is definitely not straight. So unlike this morning, where there was not enough room, now I made enough room. Well, another successful delivery. Not sure where to go now. There's not a truck stop around here. No place to park. It's either drive to Atlanta, to the Petro, which I can probably find a bobtail spot, or drive to Jackson, which is 30 miles that way. Decisions. Decisions. And there's no better place to get a good sub than Firehouse Subs. They have the best subs in my opinion. There's just no place you can find caffeine-free diet raspberry coke. It doesn't exist except a place at places where they have that machine. I used to come to this little shopping center before that tire place you're looking at was built. And that was a vacant lot there and we used to fit three trucks in there. It was a dirt lot. So we could park there and then walk across the street to the Starbucks and to the Firehouse Subs. But then they built that tire place and we can't do that anymore. Alright, tomorrow I have seven hours to be gained on my clock. And right now, 
on my 70 hour clock, I have an hour and 45 minutes I can use. All right, we're in the secret uh, hiding place. I'm gonna park here for the night. I've parked here before and it was okay. Hopefully it will be tonight, so. We're in a secret, undisclosed place here in McDonough, Georgia. Well, we're back at a Hardee's. The only place where I could uh, get in this morning. Dang, it's cold. Ah, you can still see the moon. Looking for an empty here, and of course they don't have one here either. So, I will begin my search in Atlanta for an empty trailer. Well, there's a twist on this. I'm out here picking up an empty. And the only empty we have out here has a flat tire. So this guy is taking me who knows where. This thinking there might be another empty out here. So, we're on like a safari to find an empty, literally. Ah. Ah. Uh, he found one. All right. Huh? Okay, thanks. Thank you, Wrangler. All right. Well, we found one, and I don't, hopefully it doesn't have a flat tire. And right, now we just got to hook up to her. And it's a Hyundai, good. All right. Let's get this hooked up. This tree is attacking me. We need to get in here to this landing gear and get it wound down. All right, we got her wound up. Whew. Yesterday I couldn't get it because there wasn't enough room and today I'm getting attacked by the trees, but we're good to go now. I've got to check the back though. There was one across the street, but it had a flat tire. And I uh, don't want that. All right. Yeah, this one's good. I looked in the one with the flat tire. And... Uh, there's stuff inside. This one has glass in it. It's filled with glass. What in the world did they have in here? Little bitty pieces of glass all over this. Oh man. Uh, if it's not one thing, it's another, right? Now I have to pass off this trailer to someone else with glass. And they're going to say, oh, you put that glass in there. Yeah, right. All right. All right, we're all hooked up.
Now around every corner is an adventure, right? So we don't know what's up there around that curve. I'm taking my shoes off. Now this town is not made for trucks. So getting in here was a nightmare. So let's it really will be an adventure getting out of here. is of this old factory. Yesterday we had the foggy factory. Today we have the mysterious factory. Can't see anything here. Not one thing. It's called Drive by Faith. Man, there's lots of cars coming. In 1.5 miles, turn right on Venice Academy Road. What a terrible intersection. in the in the driveways. Air gas. That's a long story. I'll tell you some other time. Oh okay we got parking. I see. Well, we'll just try to get as far away from it as possible. That guy right there. Who wants to park next to a, a uh, cattle hauler truck like that? Not me. Those guys aren't on log books anyway, so he's probably going to be leaving soon anyway, so...
till four in the morning. I never get tired of pulling into these truck stops at night and seeing the view. And uh, I'm thankful I got a place to park, you know. Just little things like that I'm thankful for. in Greensboro, Georgia. We got loaded, and yes, I had to sweep out all that glass in that trailer this morning. Woe unto me. And now we, uh, then we picked up our load, and we're heading out of here. By golly, there's another air gas. We're seeing them everywhere. With a sleeper. So they're not all single uh, day cabs. Our next challenge is getting through Atlanta. So let's get on the freeway here and get back to rolling down the road. receiver and they say we don't have an appointment but they're still gonna take me so I'm not complaining
We've got uh, two drivers waiting now. They're almost done unloading me. But I came just in time, otherwise I'd be at the end there. <laughs> but the thing is, they have appointments. I didn't have one. So, at least they were friendly here, and he said he would have helped me out anyway, so. we're all done here. If you're following along on the map, we're going to go up towards Nashville. Up Mount Eagle. Up 24. Up near Nashville. we got a pickup up there. So, let's get on our way up there. Well, here's an update. Uh, this was supposed to be a drop and hook, which means I drop off an empty and pick up a loaded trailer. But they didn't have an empty, so now it's a live load. So I dropped off my trailer, and I'm gonna come back in the morning when it's loaded. I don't have enough hours to stay here. So I have to go find a safe haven, a place to stay for the night, and then we'll come back early in the morning. It's kind of a hassle to do that, but that's my only choice. So, got to get it out of this rain. All right. Addition is what makes this load not a very good load. It's a three hour load, a five hour trip, and a three hour unload. So the uh, loading and unloading is actually longer than the trip itself. So this is not a good load. Stop venting, Jack. Stop venting. We're going to Lebanon to the pilot there and spend the night. No more venting, I promise. There shall be no beautiful sunsets to shoot tonight. Too cloudy and rainy for that. Just old truck stops and old truck drivers. Well, I think I'm out of the way enough. I'm going to stay here the night. I hate to take up a whole spot. There's some guys doing that with, they take their tractor and no trailer and they take up a whole tractor and trailer spot. And so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stay here on this curb. I think I'll be all right. What do you guys think? Next to a spooky creek here. If it were winter or if it were summer, I'm sure I'd hear frogs all night croaking. Good night for now. See you in the morning. Before you leave YouTube, be sure to subscribe so you'll get a notification of our new films coming in the future. Also, you may want to swing by our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Indiana Jack and say hello there. Ha 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 ha!